hello guys welcome back to our channel yesterday Mazen Amdekano took credit or rather instructed some of his boys IPB members to ensure that um, Fulani Hesmen do not have a few days in some of the communities in southeastern state well fast forward to today the governor of Imo state has you know be crowd what happened uh, some hours or thereabout and he has actually made a lot of announcements judging the fact that some vigilantes have been found to have destroyed some of the Fulani settlement in Imo state but before we go into the newspaper and further analysis we do like you to subscribe to our channel by clicking on the red subscribe button beside it you'll see a bell notification icon please go ahead click on it to get notified as soon as you update our channel on youtube okay barely four, four weeks ago the governor of Imo state hope uzodema came out and formed a committee that was all inclusive and in that committee that commu committee he made it was made up of a lot of persons a lot of stakeholders from the imam of Imo state uh, to the priests to the Catholic priest, general uh, Christendom, and uh, to the traditional rulers, and to the 80s, everyone who um, represent a particular um, set of persons in Imo State or the other were there in that committee. And he made mention of the fact that no one should resort to self-help, whatever issues uh, that that is, uh, you know, on the basis of security should be brought to the city to the committee and be looked into so that everyone will be protected that everyone is important in most state and uh, in most state community judging the fact that nigeria is not just multi-tribalist multi-tribal but also multilingual and also um, multi-ethnic in its nature so therefore just as the uh, constitution says everywhere is welcome including in most so which means wherever whatever tribe you're from you are welcome in most so he's now saying everybody is um, equal and everybody just as Imo lives will be protected all other tribes will also be protected which was you know was a welcome idea and a lot of um, uh, foreigners in Imo state uh, were very very encouraged and they applauded the governor well fast forward to now a lot has happened and the Imo state governor hope Uzadema has called on the arrest arrest of the vigilante group in Imo state who that are destroying the Fulani settlement governor hope insists that every northerner is to be allowed and are free to leave anywhere around the country without harm or being threatened he vowed to protect the lives and properties of every nigerian meanwhile he ordered the emo state commissioner of police to investigate on the vigilante group responsible for destroying full and settlements in the forest emphasis again for emphasis sake he said that meanwhile he ordered the Imo state commissioner of police to investigate on the vigilante group responsible for destroying fulani settlement in the forest okay now but let's quickly feel the pause of nigerians because of course nigerians are taking to the social media to respond don't forget that bodejo has said that uh, while the lands may belong to the people and uh, but for, for the forest is for the fulani so everybody should just generally stay clear of the forest and now this is technically saying does it mean that the forest now in southeastern state including the one in the most now belongs to the fulanis let's find out for what people are saying concerning this matter this one here is saying why destroying their homes have you people forgotten ebos are scattered all over the northern states with various businesses people that witnessed the nigerian civil war will never pray for one so let's give peace a chance People have replied that statement, but I would rather not want to go through that. This one here is saying, let them go to the city and pay for apartments and leave it. And leave it. Must it be always in the bush that they should live in? He asked the governor. This one here is saying, mm. this one here is saying, made in Abuja. I don't want to go there. I don't. I, I would rather skip the insultive part. This one here is saying, the forest where they settle at, where they settle at, who gave it to them? Is it that? Is it that how? People from other regions settle in at their own place. Don't you know that the the so-called forest is owned by human beings as well? Okay, okay. Let's continue. This one is saying yes, they can live anywhere, but it must be in the cities, not in the bushes, my governor. Okay, that's also another good one. This one here is saying hope Uzodema must know that Supreme Court nominated him for Imo people, not for the Fulanis. This one here is saying. Each job, 
ijukwa anya anyi gi nwoke ijikwa ijikwa anya gi nwoke as in ijikwa anya gi nwoke meaning as in are you using your eyes to see very well mr man this one here is saying our governor have you are you okay allowing them to rent a rent a house in town and not in the people's farmland for crying out loud okay this one here is saying i think he should relocate to the bush where his fellow felony brothers are living god knows his plans but he will fail this one here is saying ibos are everywhere in the north paying for the apartments now now who allocated those bushes and land for those headsmen this the governor should know the, the type of decision he is making this one here is saying did the fulanis rent the place or buy the place i was in the forest this one here is saying no grazing is the smartest solution this one is hope should as as should as a matter of his love for the fulanis relocate his office in the same bush with them since they are they are the animals mm. this one here is saying let them come to town and rent houses like others not taking people land just like that this one here is a kudos to those vigilante that did that <laughs> this one here is saying he's expecting buhari protection on this impending matter with the high court supreme court that's why he's over reacting on flani issues he wants the northern to see him as a good governor this one here is saying you can never sell or intimidate us you that came from the back door i rather not take more of that statement they're actually insulting him I, I, we can each actually say some things without necessarily being very insultive you know for for the sake of you know sanity let's continue this one here says it's better for the governor to pack his office and his and his tools to the bush and look after the fulanis in the bush this one here is saying you don't have good plan for immolite you have failed already in your plan yeah while living inside forest they should rent houses in town to live this one here is saying hear yourself talk i pity you for putting your own people in danger this one here is saying i'll just take this last one this one there's so much but i'll just take just this last one. this one is saying this is why you acquired or bought the seat you occupied who owns the bush where they settled and why is why in the bush who monitors the activities in the bush? Don't think that you can do anyhow in most states. Now, very quickly, this is, this is a very quick one from me. There's nothing wrong with them living in the city if they can obey the laws and the constitution of the land. Why the bushes? Over time, I'm being very objective here. Over time, when they live in the bushes, they come out of their bushes and commit a lot of mayhem and will go back in, go back in. Sometimes it's even difficult to identify them when those, those uh, you know, uh, atrocities are committed. Even if you call some of them who managed to live in the city, they will say it is not their brothers that are doing it. They are um, another set of men, another set of Fulani headsmen that have found their way from another country into Nigeria. But you know, it's better if they live inside the city. Let's assume, okay, for for constitution for constitution's sake, they are allowed to stay any part of the world, any part of the country, but within the confines of the law and within vicinity where everybody can see them. Now, if they live in rented apartment, it's easier to identify each and every one of them, right? So if, if there's any um, crime committed, it's also very easy to locate who committed what and then identify them. There's a way they will even want to come out to commit a crime in the night. Somebody in his window or somebody in his sitting room or in his bedroom can easily decide somebody who left around 1 a.m. or 12 a.m. to commit a crime, a heinous crime. But if they're living in the bushes, everybody's sleeping. We don't even know where or what. Why would any reasonable human being be living in the bushes for crying out loud? You, are you a, you're not even an animal we are, we are seeing you okay okay you are a nigerian assumed agreed why live inside the bush are you a second class nigerian you're not animals yes you are grazing your animals but live in the cities for crying out loud don't live inside the bushes it, it, it gives a sinister move judging the fact that they've been history of their attacks terrible attacks especially in the night where men are sleeping they come out in the night do the attack and run back into the bushes they're the tracing to the the there are no traces of them you can't trace who did what and that ends the matter so it's only normal for everybody to be not to be comfortable with the fact that they're living in the bushes and the vigilante are only doing their job quote and unquote based on the fact that they are being shadowed with the responsibility of protecting lives and order in their communities I don't know how this is going to play out, but I, I feel that in this part, 
instead of calling the vigilante to book, rather find out why the vigilantes and the people of Imo are not comfortable with Fulanis living in their bushes and why they want them out of their bushes. Don't forget there have been a series of series of their you know, heinous attempts over lives. I think you should hear them out so that everybody will be on the same page. If you indeed, you know, if the governor had brought in a committee of this sort, then you should find out why the Imolai do not want anybody in their bushes and find a way around it so that everyone will be, it will be a win-win, everybody will be happy since you want to be everybody's, you know, you want to be an all-inclusive governor, which is not a bad idea. But just make sure at the end of the day, your people, the Imolite, do not see you more like people who are not being protected. You know, that, that will not go a long way, especially for, for somebody who's looking for a second term. That's how we're going to wrap it up. Let's meet in our conversation. What's your take on uh, what people are saying online concerning what uh, the governor has said concerning the Fulanis and the vigilante? And what's your take? If if it's, if you were in the position of the governor, what would you do? Let's interact in our conversation. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel.